Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back, my friends, my students. Now, this video is especially for writing practices. Up till now, we have completed 12 letters in Arabic. As you can see here in the table of Haruf al hijaiya Now, these are the letters that we have completed in our step-by-step -step book. Ba'ta and tha, then dal, dal, and draw so as you can if you can remember all the rules writing rules of these letters seen sheen sad and then we did dot and last of all the last video we did was ta, ta and wa. so we have completed all these letters even we did the long vowels also yeah wow and noon so now this video we will be only focusing on writing the random words right now i have uh, collected all the uh, words from step by step book regarding each and every letter that we have completed up till now and i will be showing you how to write each and every word in a uh, much larger uh, uh, picture so that you can make out how the strokes are going because when i used to write in the book because of the um, that yellow spot on my pen uh, it was difficult to see the strokes and joining how it was joined i hope it in this um, scale it's easy for you to see how the words are written so let's see the letter ba how we are going to write all these random words if you can see it clearly i hope it's clear for you now first is tawhid so i think this word doesn't have a ba here so we will take sabr so sabrun how are we going to write sabr so the rules of writing rules of sad is start with an i and on the line and make a small dent here and leave the tail. This is how you make sad. Then with the same tail, continue making ba. And how do you write in between? Just the half portion ba. And how do you write ra? Continuing with the tail of the ba, a line, I'm so sorry, ah, a line above going just above coming down now this line should be a little bit slant now it is and a bit of curve in the end now put the haraka swa ba with a sukoon and ra with a dhammatain sabrun sabrun now is there a ba here no so we will take the ba in full form rabbun so how are you going to write a raw separately why because it is a non-connector cannot be connected from the left side so raw the stem of raw will be just above the line but it will be slant and then when it touches the line the line goes just opposite direction and with a small curve this is how you write raw and ba will be written in full form and it will sit on the line with a dot below rafata ba shadda and with a dhammatain rabbun then tinun is there a ba here jar no qalb yes we will take qalb so how is qalb written uh, sorry it's qalb not qalb uh, the meaning are different kaf is written we will do this in um, further we will uh, do in coming lessons so for calf you will start from the top a slant stroke continuing the stroke in the opposite direction and it sits on the line sits on the line comes back this is calf but here what will happen it is joined with a lam lam is joined from both the side goes up coming down leaving a tail now we will join ba not stopping but continue writing the ba in full form this is qal with sukoon and ba with tamatai 
قلب it's kalbun kalbun means dog now uh, we will take nabi nabi noon noon as it is joined both the sides it will be written half noon and then ba continue joining ba then ya is the last letter so you will continue with the tail of the ba and then going down with the pot belly of the ya ba na b ya has two dots and it has a shadda over it and a damatin so nabiyun qalb now this is heart human heart qaf it the heavy qaf so qaf how it starts qaf starts with a clockwise stroke making a round for qaf qaf lam goes up coming down with the tail continue with the tail and with the ba as a last letter and in full form qaf has two dots ba has one dot lam has a sukun qaf has a fatha and ba with tamma this is how you are writing all the words and letters so let's see now we will do some tween jar uh, jeem we have not learned so we will do tween and uh, uh, one more word we will do tween and noor okay since we have completed noon and wow so we will do tween and noor okay so tween how are you going to write tween uh, sorry teen it's fig ta in half and ya is similar written continue with the tail of the ta it's written same continue with the tail of the ya then with the noon when you want to make go up little bit just like raw here and then go down with the pot belly of the noon put a dot now ta has two dots ya has two dots ta has a kasra t why ya doesn't have any haraka because this is the long vowel this is the proof that ya here is coming as a long vowel and not as a letter so noon has a something what about noor now noon just like half then continue with the tail of the noon clockwise round making the round coming down just like raw and leave because raw is from the non connectors the last letter is raw a slant stroke on the line then the opposite stroke and leaving a curve so nu damma why wow doesn't have any haraka because here wow is a long vowel just like ya run no run that's how you write no now let's go on to letter ta here we have some random words but uh, i'm not going to write all the words uh, those words which has a ta in between we will write those letters inshallah so let's see how we write so let's take ta first which uh, word has a ta bint so bint then we have uh, here again bint then zail dan abd nabi so we will take adha because we have learned all these zail we take nas and we take yaum thaw because we learned everything and we can take baqara also so let's see ta is the same just like ba or sa so doesn't matter if we don't have a ta here so let's see how we write sa so sa wow clockwise and leave the tail and ba ba is written in the full form sa has three dots and it's now why wow has a sukun over it this shows that this is coming as a letter and not a long vowel thawbun means dress so let's revise the meaning of the words also thawb means dress then yaum 
Ya is written just like ba. Wow with the clockwise rotation with the stroke. And the stroke is left alone with the wow, tail of the wow and then meme. How do you write meme? You can go similar just like wow. And then coming back with the tail on the line going all the way down and leaving the line. Ya has two dots. Yo, and even here wow has a sukun that means it's not a long vowel. Yo, tani. Yo means day. Then bind. We have a ta here. Ba, continue with the tail of the ba, make a noon. Continue with the tail of the noon and make a ta in full form. Ba, noon, now kasra. Noon has a sukun. Bin, tun. What about baqaratun? Ba, qa. What about qa? How do you do qa? Let's make again. Ba, tail. Continue with the tail. Clockwise rotation of the stroke. Continue on the line with the tail because calf can be connected from both the sides. Then a little bit above for the raw. Going down with the stroke and going opposite with the stroke, opposite direction and then a little curve. And ta marbuta is just written on the line as a small circle. But never make ta marbuta as like this. You should always start ta marbuta writing and uh, on clockwise direction. Clockwise direction making a small pointy uh, thing on the top and putting two dots. Uh, ba qaf has two dots, ba qa ra, and tamarbuta has a tanween. So these letters we will learn in the coming lessons, inshallah. Tamarbuta, ha, hamza, jim, and meem. So bint, we finished with bint and nas. So noon, continue with the tail of the noon, elif goes up. So and uh, we know alif is a non-connector, so nothing can be joined from the left side. Scene. How do you write scene? The W sits on the line and the pot belly goes down the line, way up above the line. Now, so. Vail. Vail means tail. Nas means people. Bakara means cow. So, nas, now vail. What about the light letter vail? The stroke should be slant and coming back on the line, this line, this stroke should be sitting on the line and a dot there. What about ya? Half, then go up. Now when lam is at the end, we will learn in for coming lessons. For now, I'll just explain. Lam goes up just like an elif we did here. And then with the lam coming down when it's the last letter, just like the pot belly of scene, the pot belly of lam also goes down the line and a bit of the stroke comes up the line. And here are two dots. They, here uh, the ya has a sukun that means here it is coming as a letter, not a long vowel. They lun. Then then bun. Again, how do you write there? The slant stroke on the line and then comes the stroke sitting on the line. So this stroke should be a bit longer than the first stroke. The first stroke starts going down in a slant way. Then the same stroke continues and goes back, sits on the line, comes back. This stroke should be a bit longer than the first. A dot, then noon. As it's a non-connector, cannot be connected from the right side, uh, from the left side. And ba. Continue making ba in full form. Noon, then bun. Then abdun. Ain. Uh, we have not learned ain, so I will we just leave it for now, and we will continue doing the uh, other letters ba, ta, and sa. So we will do sa. Where is sa? Let's see. Sa. We will do sa here. There are a lot of thas in these random words. Let's see. 
مثلث غيث غيث means rain مثل means example شعر means street and شيطان is the uh, devil or the satan okay مثلث means the triangle so meme how do you write meme meme is actually written anti-clockwise uh, if you remember the uh, round circle of wow was made with the round clockwise circle and going down what happened in uh, meme meme is just the opposite you will go anti-clockwise and make the tail and leave the tail this is the meme meme with uh, meme can be joined from both the sides in order when we uh, let's uh, first concentrate on fa then we can do in our coming lessons with meme so for now meme is written in the anti clockwise stroke round stroke continue with the tail of meme making fa then the lamb go up then in the same stroke come down and then make the tail of the lamb and then make the letter tha the last letter tha mu fal la sun <coughs> now rise since we have not learned so i'll just make rai just like i continue with the tail and ya with a dot and then the full form of the ghaith here ya is as a letter so it is with sukun ghai sun mathal again meme will be anti-clockwise round stroke leaving the tail continue with the tail make a sa in between continue with the tail make the lamb now what is the rule for lamb when it is a last letter you will just make like this and then if it's a last letter you will go down with the pot belly of the lamb and continue ma salon it's ma salon and there is no sa so we will leave these words masal musallat and ghais so let's see what are with the next uh, letter fair and here we have dal and we have dal wow where is noon we don't have noon here yes we have noon noon and wow so let's do noon and wow uh, we don't have words for ya so i will take some random words from here okay these are the words for ya i think yes these are the words for ya so let's do noon here uh, i'll take a uh, teen i'll take a uh, uh, queen these are c the first word is teen this is fig and the next is queen heavy claw now if you don't uh, pronounce letters correctly the meaning change with the light ta means fig with the heavy ta it means clay awain and then nabi so we will take nabi and teen and teen so ta as a starting ya and now the noon go up and we come down with the pot belly ta ya and no here ya is as a long vowel why because you can see the kasra in the previous letter then tain heavy tain now it's the rule for heavy ta make the i the i of ta is made on and sits on the line and leave the tail and then put the stem this is how you make ta then with the continue with the tail of ta ya and then this uh, small stroke goes up and then you make the pot belly noon three noon in this case also ya is as a long vowel coming as a long vowel then nabi noon as starting noon ba then continue with the tail of the ba make the pot belly it should be in continuation don't break your line na b 
this is how you write no let's go to wow because we did the same pattern known and wow together so we will do the same for wow uh, let's see wow So what words are we going to take? We will take Yaum, Yunus and Yaum and Yunus. We will take Yaum and Yunus. So Ya, Wow. So Wow, what is the stroke of the Wow? It is the clockwise round circle stroke with the last stroke coming down below the line and leaving it as it is just we did as in raw. Yau. And what is the stroke of mean? The first stroke is uh, you can make a circle or you can make a, like this, a triangle, uh, a hump, a hump of a camel. You can make like this also, like this. Or you can make a round circle and make a meme. Both are acceptable. Both are acceptable. So I have the habit of writing with the round one. So I will write the round one. Okay. Yao mun. Yao mun. Here wow is not coming as a long vowel but as a letter. Now you know. Ya. Round clockwise stroke of wow. And the tail of wow is left just below the line. Yao uh, you know, I'm so sorry, it's you know, it's not young, it's you know. So here it is coming as a long vowel. Then noon, as it is a non connector, noon cannot be connected. Noon with the tail of the noon, continue the W of the scene and the pot belly. You know, you know, the over here. So this is how you write the vowel. So let's see the elif and oh, there, are, there are more words. So let's do wacht, wa, kaum, thaw. We have a lot of words here. So let's do. Let's do more words with wow. Okay. Mm, yes. So we have a wow. How do you write wow? A round circle clockwise rotation of the stroke and a little bit of tail down the line. Now, Kaumun. Now, Kaf is also the same way you make Wow. It's the clockwise round stroke for Kaf, but it sits on the line. The tail sits on the line. Now, with this tail, continue making the same round circle of Wow and go down, leave the tail below. Meme. You can either make the hump or the round circle. And it is also a clockwise rotation of the stroke and with the tail down. I am making a very uh, curved shape. But you may not make a curved shape. But you can just leave it as it is as a straight line. That's it. Khao mun. Then thawabun is reward. Tha, make a round clockwise circle, leave the tail below. And elif, as they are non connectors, bar will be written separately. Tha, wa, bun. Here it's a long vowel. Wahidun. What are the, what is the word here? Wahid and sura. So let's do both of the words. There are a lot of words. So wahidun as an initial letter. Wow. Elif, Ha. Now, Ha is the same which starts just like Saad, but the stroke goes down like a hill, uh, the slant of a hill, and rests on the line. The moment it rests on the line, go back. The stroke goes back to where you started it. And leave a tail, just a little tail after the first stroke, starting point of the first stroke. And then you continue with the tail making the dal. So when the stroke goes up for the dal, it should be a slant. Then you should come back on the same stroke and then start making the opposite going back. This, uh, sorry, what is it? 
with the same stroke continue with the tail the slant stroke of the dial coming back and the stroke goes on the line and this stroke should be a little longer than the first stroke of the dial so wa hai dun what about suratun sura is the chapter in quran so how is scene written remember the w of the scene and it is left with a small tail so make this tail longer it should be longer so that you are not confused that this is the curve of the scene this tail should be longer than the w so now you continue making the wow clockwise rotation of wow leave the tail below the line and then raw raw is a bit of the stroke is above just like dal and you when it uh, the stroke touches the line from there you go back it's the opposite direction stroke and it is in slant just like the tail of the wow see both of them are similar leaving a little curve at the end this is raw and about the dal they are non connectors the slant and then the second stroke is sitting on the line but a bit longer this makes a uh, dal the recognition of dal because this stroke is longer than the stroke so su now here it is a long vowel sura i'm sorry it's not dal actually i need to make tamarbuta tamarbuta and tamatai sura to so let's see the next letter up after wow we have to make a noon and then an alif ya okay we have a ya to here so in case of ya we will do with uh we are going to do with all the words because it has ya in all the words let's start with by baina baina means between ba ya and no by na then yusuf ya is a starting letter wa clockwise rotation leaving the letter a tail below yusuf seen the w of seen leaving the tail now fa is also the clockwise rotation of the a line a stroke and then continue like this yusufun yusufu this is a long uh, vowel here yamin yeah now um there are like uh, for the new beginners they make a meme like this and continue but there is another way you can make meme is and it is the correct way of going here coming back and then going again so this is the correct way of making meme when meme comes in between meme ya and no ya me no and then taqiyun ta the clockwise rotation of uh, the stroke qaf ta qa and then continue with the tail of the qaf with the pot belly ta qi yun then ain ain ya continue with no i so this is how you write ya Mm. Let's see for the alif. Where is the alif? Where did I keep alif here? Okay. For here, uh, all the words have an alif, so we will write all the words here. Okay. Let's see. Harum. So we will learn this letter. after these lessons so how do we write harun harun now when you start this it is a clockwise rotation but the curve is a bigger one comes back overlaps and in between you come this is how it's made ha run 
all non connectors and then known ha run loot uh, we don't have loot uh, alif in loot so we'll do saleh saad how you make saad the i and make a small dent this is the difference between ta and saad with the tail you continue making alif then lam since alif is a non connector lam cannot be connected from the left side lam and when ha is in the end just make a curve hook and a ha join the ha sa leh these are all names of the prophet nabau is the news na ba and na ba o ahmad it's a very easy ahmad now what happened in ha the slant goes down comes back joins and we leave the tail a bit longer than the first stroke and then how do we make meme in between go come back going coming back and making a round and then leaving a tail ah mad and what about the uh, dal how do we make dal here with the stroke continue a bit slant come down the so second stroke should be a bit longer and leave ahmadu ahmadu so this is now ghali ghain leaving the tail and alif gha lam and continue with the tail of the lam and making the pot belly the stroke should be continue in continuation ghali ghali means expensive so let's go and see another one the next letter is uh, let's see we finished with ya we finished with noon then we have seen how much we have finished yet we have lot of letters to do the the za seen sheen sa ta ra okay so let's do seen how are we going to do seen i'm just making it bigger so that you can see it in a bigger scale how the strokes are done nasir noon w of seen now what i am doing here is making the tail of the scene a bit longer so that you don't mix it with the w of the scene and then make the ya and then the ra nasi ra then nabitu noon ba ya and ta see how i'm making in continuation noon ba ya anta noon nabi tu then dars dal the second stroke will be longer ra dar and seen in full form dars sabilun the w leave the tail a bit longer now make the ba so that you will recognize okay this is ba uh, seen and then this is ba connected with ba ya and lam comes down and make the pot belly of lam sabi learn so this is how we make the seen then dot how are we going to make dot seen we will make the um qasr okay let's see first qasr the clockwise round shape stroke of qaf and now leave the tail of the qaf make the eye of the saad continue and touch the tail and then leave this dent qas and then make the ra 
Qasr means palace. Arud. This is Hamza. We will learn about this letter. Ra, it's a non connector. And Dad is the final letter. Leave a dent. And uh, when you are writing Dad in full form, you need not leave the dent. Okay? Continue making the pot belly just like C. This is Saad. Dad. Arud. Then Dud. When it is in joining or in between, then only you need to leave this tail and the dent here. And with this, continue the slant line and the second stroke will be a bit longer. So, Dud. Then Sabr. Saad. It's the same. Leave a bit of this. Then Ba. And then Ra. Sabr. Run. Then Dorar Dad leave the dent. Then continue with the tail going up, going down, and then again up and down. Dararun Dararun. So let's see the next. We have wa. Okay, we have wa here. How are we going to write? It's the same writing rule as sad and dad but a little bit of difference what is it the i of wa is the same but there is no dent here then putting the stem and the dot wa and in case of uh, there is no word here so let's see walla walla means to um, shadow it's a shadow matar now meme it's an anti-clockwise. Then make the eye of the ta, leave the tail, ma, ta, and then continue making the ra. Either you can continue first making the ra and then put the stem. Either way you can do, it depends upon your practice, handwriting practice. Aweem. Ayn, I will continue now. Wa with the ya and with the meme. So what is how are you going to make the meme? Either you make a hum or you write or just a, a circle and make it uh, like this. Awim. Oh, we can write it like this also. Then, a warm, a warm, a warm, bottle, ba, ta, and lam, bottle. Either way, you can write. So let's see battle and then sorry. Mm, then we have a wall and the the okay. Let's go one by one all these letters. It's uh, quite easy. This is for your uh, to see the strokes and writing random Arabic words. Nothing very uh, tough here. Nothing very difficult here. So let's see the like the. It's a slant stroke, and the second stroke it is bigger with a dot. The why aren't they connected? Because of the non-connecting letters. Zurwa tun. Zurwa tun. Azizun Ain, continue with the tail. Za is written same as the Ra. Ya and Za. Azizun. Then uh, Fauz. Fa, clockwise rotation. Wow, clockwise rotation with a dot. Fauzun is the same. 
فاوز ذروة ذرة كون ذي ذرة فتاة أنت مربوطة ذرة Then we have raw. Let's see raw. Mm, okay. So, qadr. Uh, Qaf is a clockwise round rotation of the stroke. Dal will be slant and the second stroke will be a bit longer. Qaf, qadr and then raw, you know, the strokes. Qadr. Na, the, نا ذا sorry it's a سكون ذا نذر بعد we leave this as we have not done عين ليس okay we can take ليس لام يا and now the W of C لي so, let's see, the next one is Zai. Okay. Zai is same as Ra. The only difference is the dot. So, here is Durva. We did Durva. We did Aziz, Fauz. Uh, okay, we will do Aziz and Fauz again. Aziz. Aziz and Fauzun Fau. It's all the clockwise. Sorry, it's not a calf, it's a fa. So it's it'll have only one dot. Fau and Zun. Fauzun. Then um, we have a uh, Sheen. Now Sheen. Let's see. Sheen. Qirsh. Uh, Qaf. Round clockwise rotation. Ra. Qirsh. Now Sheen is just like seen. When it is in the end, it's written in full form. Qirsh. Uh, and Ya'ish. We will take Ya'ish. Ya. Now when Ayn is between, just for now, I'll just explain. Uh, a bit of above. Coming back. Ya'ish. Ya. Ya'ish. Ya'ish. Nashara, noon, sheen. Now we need to leave the tail a bit longer so that you will recognize that this is sheen. Nashara, Nashara. Now sad. We have sad here. Nisr, we have sabr, we have khas. So we will do these two, sabr and khas. So sabr with a dent, continue with the tail, ba and ra. Sabr. Now khasun. Kha starting from the line and then this stroke will be longer than the first stroke. And you do not make to need, um, uh, do not need to make the point as um, the hill as a pointy hill, but a sort of a round shape. And stop on the line. The place, the point where you stop your second stroke, go back. Go back, touch the first stroke, and leave a tail. This is how you write ha, um, ha or kha or ja. It's the same. Three of them are the same. The only difference is with the dots. So, with Elif. Kha with Elif and Sa. Now, 
Now you need not leave a dent. Just pass on. Let's see with the letters. Ta uh, and the. So Alhamdulillah, we are on to our last two letters. So last two letters are Ta and Wa. So it's an anti-clockwise rotation of the stroke. Meme. Make the eye of the ta continue with the ra and alif. Ma ta run. Sub subh subh. We will leave subh tain. Ta ya and noon. Ta ya and noon. So here we have completed the ta trinul. Let's see wa. Where is the? Where is the? So. Uh, let's see where is the? Uh, okay, we completed the. So. So, Alhamdulillah, we completed all the letters here up till now. I hope it's very clear for you. Only Dal is left. Let's see the Dal here. I hope you remember all the strokes for the letters Dal and the new letters Ta and Wa. Let's see the Dal. Let's do the Dal, the last letter. Qadarun, Qadarun. So it's the clockwise calf, round rotation. Dal going slant above, coming down. The second stroke will be a bit longer. Qadarun. And Qadamatain. Then we will do uh, Bad. So Ba, Ain, and Dal. Ba, Ain, it's a poem, Dal, Ba, this is a, with Fatha. Then, Nadr. It's the same like Dal, leaving the second stroke a bit longer. Nadr. So now we come to the end of all the letters we completed up till unit number 7 and we have completed till you, uh, till letters, uh, 12 letters we have completed and now Alhamdulillah we uh, have been practicing with all the letters writing random words. These are all the words we did right now. Now I'll be back with another video with the new unit number 8 uh, inshallah. So up till then. Let's see with the new lesson coming up with lesson number 8 with Lam and Meme. So, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.